Hello, church. Thank you for joining me today. We're in this series, uh, The Mechanics of Marriage. And today we're just going to have a little, little thought of worry less, love more, and get things done as you worry less and love more. How much time do you spend fixated on what God is doing in other people? Every moment we spend focusing on other people is one less moment we spend on ourselves or on what God is doing in us. Relationships come with worry and cares. Well, we worry because we care. However, our level of worry can really reveal the motivation of our heart. We're worried because we're insecure or fearful of loss, betrayal, rejection, or abandonment. When we get stuck in worry, we become focused on getting instead of giving. We get needy. The answer, well, give it to God. He alone has what you need. Press into him and let him become your identity. Don't get your identity from a person or a relationship. Get your value from Jesus. First Peter chapter five, verse seven. Give all your worries and cares to God, for He cares about you. I can worry about relationships with my wife and my kids, my friend, my church, but I never worry about my relationship with Christ. He has proven Himself faithful to me. I know He covers all my failures, my frailties, and my shortcomings. That's why I can cast all my worries and cares on Him, I know he could handle them. He will not judge me for my insecurities. He simply says, come to me, come to me, cast them on me, and let me remind you of your value and identity. You are mine, rest in my love. I love that. So from that place of quiet rest, near to the heart of God, I could then do my best to give the people in my life what they need. There's a, there's a neat little story, an interesting story in the Bible at the end of a Gospel of John, chapter 21. You, you remember, Peter has just denied Jesus three times. So Peter has experienced all that shame that comes from that denial. Then the crucifixion happened, and then the resurrection. And then one day the disciples are out fishing. Jesus is on the shore and they recognize him and they come ashore and he's cooking cooking them breakfast just right there on the campfire. Yeah, it's a powerful moment. And, and at some point, Jesus and Peter walk off by themselves. Uh, everybody else is left behind. And then Jesus asked Peter, do you love me? And he asked three times, you know, to restore Peter from the three times that Peter denied him. But there's this one little verse tucked in the middle of all this. And I think it's so powerful and it really goes to show that the people are the people. Even as Peter is being restored, John's nearby. And Peter looks over at John and then looks at Jesus and asks, what about him? Even in that moment of great restoration, that's going to forever change Peter's life and eternity. He's still concerned about other people enough to say to Jesus, I want to know about him. You know what Jesus says? He says, basically, he says, stay in your lane. That's none of your business. John chapter 21, verse 22. Jesus answered, if I want him to remain alive until I return, what is that to you? You must follow me. He shows Peter in that exact moment that he needs to fixate now on his own life, on what he controls on his own following of Jesus. And then let God deal with John however God wants to deal with John. In the end, it's not Peter's business. If God wants to let John live forever, or if he wants to take him off the face of the earth at that moment, if he wants to punish John for some past decision or reward him for some great choice, that's between God and John. And it's not Peter's business. How much time do you and I spend fixated on what God is doing in other people's lives, unaware of his presence in our own lives? 
unaware of God's call of what we're supposed to be doing. Every second we spend focused on other people is one less second that we are spending focused on ourselves or on God. What does God want in this? So what are we supposed to do? Jesus says very simply to Peter and to us, follow me. He's basically saying this to Peter, this, this is so important to you, this is going to be so demanding of you. And as you could already see by the past couple of days, you're going to fail at this so much that it's literally nothing else that you need to fixate on other than the idea of following me. And then trust me in how I'm going to deal with other people. When you and I fixate on other people, worry develops, entitlement develops, judgment develops, and we get so distracted by the things that aren't even in our control that, that we just start that downward spiral. When we stay in our lane and let God control what God controls, spending every day fixated on what God would have us to do in the moment, we will worry less, love more, and we would get things done.